Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering should the Patriots move on from Matthew Judon. Before I get right into this, I'm going to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. First year head coach, Gerard Mayo, was having to answer a lot of questions at the press conference at the end of practice. And you saw essentially the body language. You saw essentially the, the frustration. You saw essentially a lot that had to do with what he was dealing with was with Matthew Judon. When he approached him and he was sitting on a trash can, Judon's body language suggests that he didn't want to be bothered. He didn't want to deal with it. And they have been at an impasse contract talk-wise, his agents and the Patriots. Now, Judon has been asking for a contract for the last two and a half years if you followed the Patriots. And you've seen sometimes he's been demonstrative. Sometimes he's said it to the media. Sometimes he's said it in private. But he's made it clear he wants to get paid. He's watched several of his Patriots teammates on offense and defense this offseason gets contracts and he wants his cut. So at this point in time, it seemingly frustrated Judon as he walked away from first year head coach Gerard Mayo. And a lot of people had paused for calls were asking, is this a cancer in the locker room or is this a guy just passionate that wants his money? So when you when you get to thinking about Judon and what he's done for the Patriots, he's been one of their best defenders, if not the best defender for the last two or three years. He's been available for them and been the reason why they've won crucial games. Just look against them's game against the Jets, where they couldn't score on either side of the ball, and his plays on defense helped them win. Look at the games against Miami Dolphins, where he kept them in the game. It's been times where he pops off the screen and, and, and is a nightmare. When you're thinking about being able to go sideline to sideline, being able to create havoc, being able to play the linebacker slash defensive end position and create havoc, whether it be the pass, whether it be the run, and do different things for the Patriots, be that jackknife. And when Bill Belichick would ask him to do things that was a sing seemingly outside of his role, he was able to do it. So you got to think, he wants his money. He wants to be a higher paid Patriot. And, you know, I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Um, again, he's at camp. He's not holding out i think it's called hold in when you're at camp but you know he could tell the dis dysfunction you could tell the, the the unhappiness of it so with that being said if you're a member of the patriots would you want him going or would you like him to stay to me with a guy like that and you got to think you possibly do better getting rid of him and getting as many draft picks as many pieces as you can because you're rebuilding a young roster a young team you are you're very well under the cap so it's not like your cap's strapped or anything like that you had the money but you may not want to pay this guy. You know, you may have seen some of the injuries he's had the last couple of years. And, you know, amid contract talks, it could get messy. It can get nasty. So with that being said, if you're a Patriots fan, what do you want to do? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus, and we'll see you on the very next episode.